What's up, my folks? How's everyone doing today? Show y'all an old picture of uh, an old awesome, I think is a killer chain out yard. Of course, this is a this is a pretty popular breeder. If any of you guys, this was about a decade ago, so if you guys recognize this yard, just keep it to yourselves because he's already had trouble with fucking the crazies, you know. I mean, hell, they made him revamp this whole system. It don't even look like this anymore, which I thought this was killer. I mean, nice long chains, fresh water, concrete houses full of insulated, you know, bedding and all, but, you know, real clean, no shit, nowhere. But we're at a war, folks, and it's not just a, uh, it's not just a, uh, a war toward, like, animal rights as so much as anti-pit bull. I mean, seriously. I mean, some of the comments I get are amazing stupid. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and I don't feel so bad because I've talked to other YouTubers and they told me that, you know, they get them too when they, they comment and email you and they comment and, like, I guess they delete it before, you know, just comment and delete and it goes through a mine and all it does, what it is that they're designing it to do is to suck up our time, you know. So when I'm getting, you know, I got 10 minutes to go through and read some emails or whatever, I feel like it. I'm spending so much time reading their stupid bullshit thinking it, it's you guys that I don't get to y'all. And I mean, I'm serious. They, they flood you with it. Uh, but, you know, and then I have like the ones that they try to put comments on and, I had one yesterday that was funny. Maybe people would take you serious if you didn't sound like such an ignorant redneck and criticize the media so much. Criticize the media? I mean, I can handle you thinking I'm a dumb redneck because all you college people and, and libtards all think you're smarter than everyone else. I mean, you really wouldn't last two weeks in my world. It, it wouldn't. You just wouldn't do it. Um... But the media, okay, let's just go back in time a month here, okay, to the last bus. Because people have already, you know, it's a social media world now. It's so last month now, you know. But it's only been a month ago and that guy up in the Northwest got popped. And they raided him and took his shit, okay. Let's talk about the media, what the media portrayed. Because I just got, I just actually took the time to, to go in and see what that was about yesterday. Last night after I read that shit. First of all, the media. The media states, in a barn with no lighting and no ventilation. That motherfucker got ridge cap vents on it. It's got, uh, you know, gable vents. It's got no lighting. What are you talking about, no lighting? There was a light in the middle, and there was a, looked like a two by four foot window across the back. And a door with a, you know what I'm saying? Um, dogs were living in their own feces. and Well, they didn't show one of the crates on the thing all they did was show the crates stacked in the kennel house with a pile of hay there so i know he put hay in there with them just like i have to do and he probably just kept a little heater in there to keep them warm at night and took them back out during the day and walked whatever he had to do now i don't like i said i wasn't there i don't know but they wouldn't show the crates they just showed like a picture through the door well that's what a kennel house looks like when it's the dog you know what i'm saying they're not fucking stainless steel or regular guys usually got crates lined up with hay in them uh that's how you keep them warm I, it's my understanding it's pretty cold up there you know at least the man had a building in if he didn't put them in a building y'all bitch about that okay i'm not supposed to criticize the media though Okay, all right there was already showed ventilation, lighting, and electrical lighting in there, but there was no lighting and no ventilation. <clears throat> they found equipment and medical equipment, like syringes and needles and stuff. So? I mean, hell, when you give seven-way shots, you got to get a syringe and a needle. What has that got to do with the price of tea in China? Okay, and the exercise equipment, the man showed his dogs. And I'm not talking about the illegal time that you try to make everything out to be. Okay, these folks, let's just get to cut to the chase. They're, they're, it's a Looney Tune group. And they, they, they're total basement dwellers. And I mean, if their whole, okay, let me give you a for instance. Go to P.M. Westerner YouTube page. PM Westerner, it's not, not nothing fancy, just 
But look at the content on this fool. Okay? And I'm the dumb redneck. This fool's whole content is anti-pitbull. He spends his whole life or her or whatever this slug of a human being is. Spends his whole time, his old being, on YouTube promoting to tarnish the breed. And, and, and it's very, let's not criticize the media because the first fucking video they got on there, Pitbull attacks a cat in my yard. It's not even a pit bull. It looks like a damn beagle cross. Everything's get blamed right now as a pit bull. People ask me what I thought of mixed breeds and all that. I don't like them. I do not like them. I think when you mix the genes and dogs, you start playing with stuff. These dogs were bred to be perfect for hundreds of years. The real game American Pit Bull Terrier. Game bred dog. You're not fixing that by crossing it to make it bigger, wider, taller, fatter. None of that shit. I think when you go to mixing these dogs up, you're playing with a time bomb. That's my opinion on that. Okay? Um, but as far as that man having anything... Oh, and another thing, guys. The computer. Please do not text me anything. I don't care what country it's from if it's illegal activity with these dogs. I don't care. I'm, I'm not interested. I don't, it doesn't even matter to me. Okay? Don't do it because that's another thing. We found images on his computer. Okay, so what they're doing basically is they're punishing this man. Now, I did see one picture of a, of a dog in an outside kennel that had some shit in there and it was pretty stacked up pretty high. You know, I mean, it, it was about three days it looked like that it ain't been cleaned. Because let's be honest now, if you took your dog and put him in a pen and you didn't clean it for three days, that's what it looked like. Now, I don't know what's going on with the guy, why he didn't do that. It's none my, I mean, that's that's something they're going to figure out. But the care taken looked like it could use a little work, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't inhumane. Have y'all ever been into a dog pound or the humane, whatever they call the humane society? I've never seen a humane society shelter or ASPCA shelter, really. I've seen them. Use like local shit and then they put the dogs down anyway, you know, or charge, try to charge people a pile of money and take their land and take everything they got. Um, but I haven't actually seen one. But the ones that I have been into are disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. You know, it's kind of the pot calling the kettle black on that one. These people are crazy. So they want attention. I think you should educate them, folks. Sorry about that. I'm doing this on a computer. Y'all should educate them. I th I really think you should. I think you especially should. Just start with one. That PM Westerner would be a good one. PM Westerner. Go to that YouTube page and educate them for us. Because the other comments I get, we're all outlaws and hide under rocks. Told me to go back under my rock. Hmm. My rock. I don't do anything illegal. I don't even give a shit. You know, don't really. Because I don't do anything illegal with my dogs. I mean, I don't do anything illegal about anything. I mean, I don't even drink moonshine no more. My old lady said I can't drink it. I get too wild. So, they, they can't catch me. They, you can kiss my ass on that. I don't have to crawl under a rock, and neither do my folks. And, uh, anyway, folks, people were asking about that Mexican stuff. Mexican blood. This is some of that stuff. This was, a uh, uh, the same stuff. Uh, Night Rider blood. Cardings. Cardenas, whatever. Um, that's a good old bitch. This is just a long time ago too, but she is a good dog. That was my buddy. This dog was super aggressive to other people. She didn't like nobody else. She was my best friend though. I love that damn dog. You know, people talk about medical devices, uh, having medical box and the medical equipment. What does that make you? Since when does being a good steward and being able to take care of your animals make you a dog fighter? Or doing something wrong. I mean, every do it's your duty to be able to take care of these dogs. It's your duty. I mean, you should all know how to take care of your dogs. I mean, we don't live in a computer world. Some of these people live in, I don't know what they do. I don't know what it is that they live, what planet they're on. I mean, so that's basically saying you don't need medical stuff for your kids. Because that's how we treat these dogs, like our kids. 
I mean, it's just ridiculous on how some of these people are. And they want attention, so y'all give them some. Start out with a PM Westerner. I think that'd be a good place to start and, and, they, and play their game back at them. We don't have to hide under rocks. I mean, I want, <clears throat> I want everyone to, you know, fight back. Don't stand in the corner. Fight the fuck back. Or we ain't gonna have no no nothing left. I mean, people been talking about Mexico with me. But seeing this picture brought back memories of that them dogs. Um listen, every I just want everyone to realize this, the big picture. Mexico's very much like the South was right now with the dogs twenty years ago or so. It wasn't um a big deal, but it wasn't legal. You understand what I'm saying? There's been a huge influx of people that have been pushed into Mexico and walked in and, and raided, basically invaded fucking Mexico. They're very socialistic, communist type people. And they're, the, I mean, they're, well, they call them liberals now, but that that's their way of thinking. And when you have that many people flood a country, your traditions are going to change. Your morals are going to change. Your ethics are going to, you know what I'm saying? They fundamentally change things. And, so expect things to be different, I would think, relatively soon in Mexico. So y'all just be careful with that. Think about that now. Um, just because it's legal in that country, we're not, we're not in that country. You know what I'm saying? So if you go to watching video, it's not even legal there. That's my point. It's really not. It's just not. They have bigger things to worry about than than that you know what i mean and it's a part of their heritage and their tradition there and their you know their upbringing very much like it was in the south um but like i said i see about 20 years and that whole ball game's going to be done if that things are moving very very quickly toward that y'all just uh think about that when you download videos or something and you get that fucking bang on that door that ain't going to be a good feeling because that's another thing they said. They had images on the computer. Well, fuck it. I mean, I'm just saying, y'all. You got to kind of, you just kind of got to really think about this in the big picture if you want to keep your dogs. Because, and for God's sake, don't be in a neighborhood with 50 damn dogs. That's crazy. If you want to have a real yard and set up and really dog man like that, do it in a place that you can do it. Don't go trying to do that shit and piss all the neighbors off. I'm not saying if you live in a neighborhood and your whole street's around you and all your family and friends and loved ones and everyone's got dogs. That's different, but don't go moving up in somewhere because them motherfuckers hate us. I tried it, man. I tried it. I'm telling you. I had a little dog yard and... We had a half acre is what it was. And I took about a quarter acre and made a dog yard out of it. A nice little dog yard. I had 11 chain outs and three good keep pens, you know, to put puppies in. And bitches when they were coming to heat and shit like that. I even got a 10 by 20 building and run power to it and where I could put heaters in there on the rare occasions that I wanted to put them in there because it was nasty. I mean, it was a nice setup. Actually, the animal control guy said it was one of the nicest dog yards he's ever seen. I had rock walkways, all that shit. But the thing is, my fucking neighbor that moved in behind me decided he wants to build a damn play thing, like a swing set thing, right on our fence line for his kids to get up on and just throw shit over at the dogs and all this crap. It was no good. It was no good. Even though I was in the law, I was strictly hog hunting with my dogs. I was taking... 100% better care of my dogs than 99% of the tree huggers out there. I mean, the only other way that I could think that you could tend to your dogs any better than I did is if you carry them around in a purse with you. You know, and then I think that's abuse too, not letting your animal be an animal. They are dogs. They've humanized them. But, <clears throat> you know, it's just, it is what it is. We're going to have to stand together. And, and, and I'm being serious. You, you fight back to them fuckers. They want to waste our time. Y'all waste theirs. All right, I'm going to leave y'all out with a picture of uh, one of the shows that, that this was a long time ago, too. Got my buddy old Levi standing there. But uh, this is a picture just of one of the shows we would do. And uh, 
give you an idea what it's like, you know what I mean, for y'all that haven't been or haven't considered doing it, because I have been getting some emails on that too. But, uh, and another thing I wanted to touch on was the uh, ADBA part. I've gotten a lot of emails from guys saying that their dogs are registered through other registries and blah, blah, blah. Look, that, I didn't even think about that. I really didn't. I just thought that the ADBA would have the king share of the dogs registered and um, that everyone would recognize the ADBA, you know what I mean, as legit. So, But, I mean, yeah, there's other legit registries. I mean, we can do it any way that y'all want to figure out. Like I said, once the roster's... Uh, gets up enough that I think hell man we could do a show you know y'all just pledge your dues and and go right in through that but uh as far as it being an ADBA club it doesn't have to be I'm not set in stone on any of that I mean I know some of you guys mentioned like Tom's registry I don't know if they do the shows or none of that I mean you, I don't I don't know them like that but uh you know sure whatever whatever is fun for us and works for everybody is fine with me I don't care I can I can register my dogs through any of them, um, but I just figured the ADBA because I figure most people have ADBA registered dogs, but it doesn't matter seriously. Um, and another thing, you know, about beef and dogs, people are talking about this and that. There's no reason to get that way over these fucking dogs, y'all. I mean, seriously, just don't worry if you like your dogs and you like them. I mean, ser like. I really can soapbox talk shit now because I started every one of my puppies yesterday on hogs. They was getting ugly toward each other, popping that chain. I don't like them to ferment like that very long. And I figure, well, if y'all that bad acting, I'm going to put y'all on some pork. And Bullet stopped a fucking 300-pounder, a bad one. He done been on like four or five dogs done caught that hog. He was a fucking full-fledged badass. Bullet stopped him in seven minutes. I mean, was mashing mashing every one of my puppies come out like aces i mean like aces i mean it, i let a couple of them dogs out to people to friends and stuff and i hope that they they ain't the bad ones because if i if they're good too I, I think i got a whole good litter a whole good great acting litter and when you're getting shit like that who cares what other people think man as long as you're honest with yourself but, I mean, like, right now, I'm so high on my shit, I don't care what no one says about them. You know what I mean? Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you got to be. And, like, people were talking about, now, I've seen some comments, too, about another dog man, another uh, a breeder, and I think he's got a, he's got a YouTuber and all, uh, turned in or made a call to get that guy busted or whatever um, in Louisiana. Listen. I, I really, I don't, all I can say is all that shit will come out in the wash. I don't like to say anything like that because I don't know him. I don't know neither one of them. You know what I'm saying? But I know that that's an instant suicide. To do that is suicide. It's like committing suicide. No one's going to have shit to do with you if you're ratting on people and turning people in and making up shit on people. I mean, that's instant suicide in these dogs. And I just can't, it's hard for me to think that he would do that. Especially, man, he's been around a long fucking time. You know what I'm saying? He's my age. And he's been doing the, messing with these dogs and, and breeding his dogs for a long time. I just don't, he's doing his own thing and I just don't see that. I mean, that's kind of not in that, I could be wrong, but I doubt it. I don't see that, man. Too much pride there, man. My fucker's got a lot of pride. You can't say he don't. And, uh, I just don't see it. I mean, not not me personally as a man looking at another man. I don't see that in him. You know, a lot of crazy shit like black dogs ain't real. But that was just funny to me. That ain't no. Don't don't get hating on somebody about comments, okay, or any of that. It's not a big deal. It really isn't a big deal in the scheme of things, y'all. It ain't gonna pay you, and it ain't gonna lay you. Some people it's paying, and some people it's laying. But that's just it. It all comes out in the wash. That's what I'm saying on that. If you got any beef with anybody leave it at the county line come have a good time let's join up together and uh and do this and like i got a couple comments i ain't making no money on this shit there won't be no money made this will be a total non-profit thing everything that's made will go right back into that son of a bitch so don't don't even start that crap with me i mean because i i don't make money on shit on no dogs i don't try to be busting people's heads on dogs or nothing, period, anything. So, 
Y'all take care and y'all keep on bulldogging and give a little bit back. Give a little bit back to them son of a bitches. Stay out of that corner, guys. Keep on bulldogging.